Assalamu alaikum everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to one more video on the Apache series. Today's topic is actually very interesting. We're gonna be uploading a file to our Apache server. So how this kind of works, uh, we're gonna have actually a shell file that we're gonna send a file as an input to this shell file. And inside of this shell file, we're just gonna like process the input and save it to a file. Okay, so it's actually that simple. So uh, let's actually start implementing this. So first we need to kind of edit the configuration file. So uh, we're going to be adding this, um, uh, the upload function to the default side that we have. So, oops, not the right directory. Apache 2, uh, sites available, and we have the default side. So to do so, uh, we're going to be using a package uh, or a module at the uh, and the patch tool which is called cgi it helps you run files like scripts or python scripts okay so here i'm gonna just type script alias so when the user actually make a request on our website with the uh, following path for example upload upload we're gonna run the following script which is gonna be at slash war here's our page and here we're gonna be having our script files okay and i'm gonna have a upload sh script okay so this is it control s and let's now create the um now let's create this uh this directory and this file and edit the content inside of it so first we have to create the directory so uh, sudo make there make there and for html and here we don't have any directories so we're gonna be creating the directory cgi bin and now Instead of so this CGI bin, I want to create a new file that's going to be called upload.sh. Now change this to nano to create it and edit it. The first thing here we have to type is who will run this file, like what application should run it. And by default, since this is a shell file, our uh, bash command should run it. And the bash is usually located at the following directory, which is at slash user slash bin slash bash. It's the default directory on most machines, but I'm gonna show you actually um, where it's located on your machine if you don't know it, like if it's in any other directory, I'm gonna show you after we just finish editing this file. So here the first thing we have to do is just type the get command, which is uh, it's gonna take from the standard input, so we're gonna send a request. Okay, the body of the request is gonna be like as an input to this shell file, and we're gonna take the input and insert it to a file, let's call it, for example, output.txt that text so this all for now just let's hit control x and uh, save this file and if you don't if you want to know where is the bash located on your machine you can use type bash and you can see bash is at this following directory uh, now the next step is just well we can actually make it correct from the first step but let's just kind of test how this works now so server ah first by the way i need to restart the server here System CTL restart Apache 2. So, just in case, let's make sure no errors happen. Looks good. Let's go there and here type upload. So, let's now make this. Of course, it's a get request, but to upload a file, we're gonna make a post request. But just let's say it's working. As you can see, it's showing us 404 not found. Why is that? Because if you remember, I said we're going to be using a module which is called CGI. So let's check if this module is actually uh, working. So to do so, um, then models are usually at the ATC. Not usually, they are at this location always. So and it's called uh, mod. mod of, let, let's check actually enables mods and search for anything that has CGI in it. Uh huh. Well, let's just dump print them. As you can see here, we have some modules. None of them is the CGI. So this means it's not activated. But if we actually print the content of the available modules, and then let's actually just search for, using the grab command, let's just search for CGI. So as you can see here, we have uh, CGI. This is the modules that we are gonna load. And to load a module, we have to type A2, enable. And here specify that we're enabling a module. And here we type the name CGI. CGI or CGID is the same thing. So as you can see, if we enable one, both of them are gonna get enabled. So uh, now it's enabled, let's just restart the server. Ask for the password. Let's make uh, sure everything is working correctly. Great, now let's give it another try. 
and as you can see now this time it returned a 500 server error why is that let's go and check so uh errors are actually logged at the following directory uh, tail command prints uh, tail print the last lines of a specific file so i'm going to print the last five lines of the following file so it's for log apache errors so when error occurs on the apache it gets logged to this file so let's see we have permission denied failed on this file and also we didn't specify the headers because we're making a request so we have to specify the headers of the content that we are going to return so uh, let's actually do the first thing which is the uploaded sh that we have got permission denied um, let's actually change our directory now let's do it to war html cgi and now let's just print the long form as you can see here we have the upload.sh file which is the script file that we've created and once we try to run it we can't because we don't have actually execute permissions here none of the users has the execute permission so let's just uh, give them the execute permissions using the change mod command and here I'm gonna add to all users the execution of the this file we were in this directory so upload it sh now if we uh, print this again as you can see all users can now print the content of this file and the other error that we had before this which is um, that uh, end of scripts out of before headers this because we didn't specify the headers so let's actually edit the file oops oops okay let me just type sudo oh we don't know uh, we need sudo because actually the owner of this file is roots so we need sudo to edit it sudo nano and upload upload so to specify headers we can just print them using echo so i'm gonna type content this is the only um the only uh, header that you should specify and this actually let me just show you that's the documentation of this uh cgi apache 2 mm -mm 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 -mm. okay while it's loading i'm just gonna continue typing okay here it's loaded so let's go and if you search uh as you can see here we print the uh the content type this is the one that we need uh in our case it's gonna be actually text.plain you can type like text.html it doesn't matter but we're not actually gonna return anything but it's just a header that should exist so uh it's gonna be text plain and you can actually specify here because you can see in this example it didn't specify the uh, char set but i'm just gonna specify it just in case so char set is equal to utf uh, 8 and to end the headers we just have to print one more line so that's it and control s and close this file uh let's also close this i'll leave also by the way link to down the description to this uh documentation uh do we need to return uh read on the server we don't because this file uh, is actually read at the moment when we make the request so now let's just again and as you can see it worked now let's print the content as you can see nothing got printed uh, why is that because we didn't actually pass anything to the cat command so now this was a simple get request let's edit it to make a post request uh, actually before actually me make the post request we have to create the file or the data uh, that we're gonna send so let me create a new file let me call it message message and let's type here this is a message from the client to, to the server now let's send this file the content of this file to the server to upload it so first thing we have to make this function from a get to a post method to do so we specify the x flag and here we type post so now this is the post method and next we have to uh, choose the data select the file that we're going to send with the data flag and here we um, type the x and after the so we type the uh, the path sorry uh the path of the file that we want to upload since we're already at the home directory you can just type message and he will automatically detect uh the the file so just just hit enter and as you can see uh empty reply from server well this is not actually an error we just probably didn't reply but if we are less huh hmm, this is something off so let's actually uh no no this upload it sh 
out with the text get bash content type text plane hmm everything should be actually working I don't know let's uh, post data message server upload well everything should be actually working uh, just in case I'm just gonna return uh, restart the server uh, system system CTL restarts um, uh, batchy two. Now let's give it one more try. Uh, 52 empty reply from the server. Hmm. It should actually reply, but it didn't. Well, just in case, I just check the uh, errors log. Maybe an error occurred right now. Uh, permission denied. Well, that's actually an interesting error. Uh, why did our content does not get printed? So let's actually go one directory above and let's print the long format and with a recursive. As you can see, uh, who is running this Apache? Like the user or the group that's running the Apache. By default, it's www data. So this is the user or the group that's running the Apache, and it's trying to create a folder inside. Uh, inside the directory that's owned by the root user. So this why it's not getting created. We are getting permission denied. So to solve this, it's just so simple. Let's just use sudo uh, no, uh, no, no, uh, change ownership. And we are in which directory? Okay, CGI. I have to specify the username and the group name. Like you can specify one of them, but I'm gonna specify both. So I'm gonna set the username to this and the group name to this uh, WW data. And now specify the folder and with the recursion to change the folders, owners, and all the content inside. Now let's print the same thing. And as you can see now the uh, owner has changed and the, the group owner and the user owner. So now let's give it a try and hit enter. As you can see now it should work, right? As you can see, oh, okay, we have to see you there. As you can see, we have a, a new file. So let's actually see the content of this file, like with the output command. As you can see, this is the message that we have sent from the ah, typo. Okay, anyway, uh, this is the message that we have sent from the client to our server. So we have uploaded a file, this is our file, and the file can be anything. It could be an image, it could be a text file, it could be anything, maybe a video. So that's actually all for this video guys, wish you liked it and see you on the next one.